I like the AOE on mid or feed, but I feel like they needed a real traditional carry to complement all that. And they're going to end it with a Brewmaster? I'm just not feeling it, buddy. Shatter and a lot of that magical damage. But mid or feed has... They've got like five team fighting heroes. Every single hero has a huge ultimate uh, ultimate cooldowns. Except for Brewmaster when he hits 25. Oh, here we go. Council in the tree lines. He's hiding. Will they find him? They know. Yeah, they found him. He spotted. Him. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he is. Yeah, he's dead. And nice blood for Fada Fada takes it. On his uh, face is void. Yeah, he's been, I mean, he's been alone. They zoned Fada really well. Cinder and, and Weeha making sure now bottom they have a play coming out. They make the rotation. They want to try to punish Ace. They know Yapsor's not playing around there. They have a good chunk of damage, but Sanking's still only level two. That short range stun, but they might be able to close the gap oh, here. They do. They do. Have they got enough damage to bring him down? They have the chilling touch, the slow from the clap. They look towards Ace. They are going to take it. That'll be Ace going down. They'll lose the Sanking in return. Fada looking to make the numbers go back in oh, secret boy. favors. They're going to lose all three off the back of that play, and Mib One's going to be the one to claim the bounty of it all. Double kill for Mib One. A secret coming with the quick rotation. Really, really good time for him to get involved. Beauty of that double stack that Yapsor had done at that hard camp earlier, and mid one's continuing that aggression. They have four heroes bottom, they want to claim this tower. Sin, but oh, tomato. oh, that's going to be the earliest four-man crown I've seen in a while. Six minutes coming in, Tomato. Looking to turn things around. Looks like Sinner and Will still fall. They may get some kills in return. Cancel chasing down with the Exorcism. Spirit Siphon chase onto Ace. Kezu and we are also hot in the pursuit. Tomato will end up finishing off Fada as well, grabbing the double kill mid or feed. Doing it there. Beautiful chrono from Tomato. That's the carry void you want to see turning up. At least for himself, since we, as we mentioned, there's not really a crazy amount of hard lockdowns for him besides chrono and stun from the sinking. And now mid, Kezu. Really suffering in this game. Level four. That's the problem. The levels are not great for this brute. At all, second lowest on the net worth. Bottom lane, his team's doing his best though. They should be able to claim that tier one tower. We've seen this time and time again too from these off lane brutes. They can have a really tough time in. Oh, we high. How unfortunate. He's gonna be brought down there. The Kaya, the mana that it does give you to get those extra zips off is pretty substantial. There. Able to get that nice jump there again for mid one. Surging himself further ahead and now Cancel getting poured on mid. Got the face Four heroes yep. with the Eclipse. Yep, straining onto DP. No chance for Cancel. They'll and take him the out. Tower. Turn him out for the Shaker. Yep, so. And up top mid one. Going in with the Nature's Wrath. Gets the kill. Off the mark. They're not able to stun that in time with the ball lightning. And no mana left on mid one. They have Arcane Boots on Yapsor. And he spotted. He, they see him moving through through that ward they have on the high ground there. And Secret smoking up. This is only a two-man smoke, though. Fada's just going to go in on the mid lane. But they find Cancel here. One. They'll jump in and straight away. Is there any way that Little Beak can save Cancel? He's got the siphons going out. It's not enough. The Looster Beam comes in. This will finish the kill. Cancel's down. They're no. going for mid tower, too. So Secret is playing objectively very well. Going for kills that lead Bappy? objectives. Oh, he's got the false promise. He's got the heals With and the, the stick, heels, th He's going to be fine. And it's actually middle feed, the one's being turned upon. Cinder and trying to get himself out of there, but he gets bursted down. Puppy's still alive for the time being. He's not even going to get brought down by the final spear because Fader is there with the save. Ace as well should be fine here. In fact, they're already eyeing up that brew. They want to try and see if they can have a chance of getting him post-split. Oh, going on to Kezu with the beam and the Eclipse moving in. Ace gets the kill. Kezu down as well. Secret amping the pressure up and mid or feed, they're struggling against it. Mid one, not looking to fight top. down bottom. Shadow Blade with the order of the day for Tomato. He wants to go for the Shadow Blade in the BKB at the moment. But it reveals himself. Tomato, does he want to jump this? Does have the Chrono? He's going to want to pop it. Oh, just look to take it straight away. They want to get these objectives, and with the Ice Blast flying in, they'll have no trouble bringing down Fado at all. There's a bit of a problem back at home. There's he pulled uh, the wave with the Strians as well, and they are pushing. Yeah, Luna's up. knocking on the door, and in fact, Kezu, he's getting caught out. Could they bring him down in time with Eclipse? They can! Straight a heads-up play from Secret to make sure no Primal Split comes out in response. So Kezu gone. Tomato's got no Chrono. He'll still try his best to live for Ace with the time dilation, but the Echo Slap from Yapsu comes in on to two. Tomato gets the time walk off just in time. Looks like they don't have the detection for Cinderin, but they have the Fisher to cancel the Sandstorm. 
The Echo Slam doesn't grant a kill, but it stops Middlefield immediately being able to jump back in. Cinnamon will still look for it. Great silence from Capsville on to three. Will allow them to find Yapsville. They look towards mid one. He's still got a bit of mana to play with. In fact, he turns, looks for Tomato, drags him in, gets the kill. Fod is there with the Sprout. They surround Cancel Secret. Still take three of them. Seven K gold advantage already at this point. It's 16 oh, minutes in. And good luck trying to hold this base. They have the ice blast. It will connect onto Ace, and in fact, with the Primal Split, Ace is in. He's got to be careful. They have high physical damage though with the Lunar Aura, Lunar Blessing Aura. He has to watch out with those Brulings. There go again. And that was, that was with the Chronosphere. The Chronosphere is expanded bottom, so they're really trying to press their advantage here. Syndrome yep. does have Epi ready on the sidelines. They're looking to try to catch at least oh, Fada on the retreat. Yeah, he may be left behind here. Can he get out of this when he heads for the very ambitious TP? But it is Cinderans there with the Burrow Strike. And Fada is gone. Ooh, they but that is something. everything but Bruce Split. Where's the combo? Where's the Krona? Can he find it? Secret's looking for a fight, though. They know exactly where they are. They're both oh, pinging each other. Oh, they're smoked. Who's going to get the jump on who? They see Ace. Ace gets the Eclipse off in time. Cinder advice for the Burrow Strike with the saves there from Puppy. False promise. Midball going in straight away with the Silas. The Krona comes through. will catch two of them on the back lines. But the disarms there from Puppy. They will still find the kill on to mid one. Yapsul gets the Echo Slam off in time. Fisher as well. If Yapsul's still alive, gets the chance to blink out. Silas now to cancel, but he's got the Yule Step to complete. Removes the Silas. Tomato continues to try and jump forward onto Puppy. The Exorcist is bringing Fada down. Down low, Cancel looking for the chase down with the Siphon. Should find Fada, he'll try and get himself away with the Sprout, but the Ghost Fly across the tree line, take him down. Yapsul gets the lockdown onto Tomato. They've lost three on the side of middle feed. Kezu, look for the Primal Split. Can he get more out of this? Stun out to Puppy, but again, the immunity there along with the self disarm trying to TP out, but the Siphon goes straight through it. Cancel picks up another. The controls there from Kezu, throwing Ace up into the air. He forces himself away. The Fisher blocks off Cancel, but the Primal Split surrounds him. Kezu's got the chase down. Ice Blast inbound as well. Ace takes an ice floor last to the top of his head. He gets up to the high ground. Not enough damage to bring down Ace. Kezu now turning back towards Yapsor. Ace desperately trying to finish off Kezu with the turn up of mid one. They will get it. Crazy fight there. That was the smoke, but he has got the Shadow Blades to still leave. Okay, so he went for Shadow Blade instead of going for Mask. He already has Battle Fury to increase the farm rate. And they have a, a very aggressive ward here. They do see mid one farming as, and they see Puppy too. It's got to be quick though because mid one can dodge it. Oh, he's got it. Right, Puppy does have False Promise. This will buy time. Cinderin revving up the episode. It comes in on the sidelines. Gets the stun onto Puppy. Ice Blast being thrown down onto this Dawn Spirit. He's going to be falling low. Ace turning around, though, with the Eclipse. Brings down Cinderin, but he's been surrounded by the Primal Split. Ace is gone. They've lost a second. Mid one, he's back. He's ready. He was saved. Fada split pushing top, though. Might be able to just clean up this Range Rex with the Treants. It looks like even with oh, Battle Fury is enough to bring them down quick oh, enough. Mid one's hunting. He's searching. Yeah, they know Void's not there now. Kezu oh, getting isolated. Oh, and he's got him. The low so I'm sure it will send it back, but he still tanks the silence. They drag him in, bring him down. Kezu hits the ground. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. What he can do. Instead set up something nice with lane Weeha. They're looking to jump. Weeha is dead. Oh, and the instant oh, silence no, on Cinderin. Cinderin! Oh, indeed, mid one. They know there's a ward there now, because Cinderin was Instantly in a... Instantly pre-cast. Yeah, Cind was yeah. in the backside there, and yeah, just that ward getting placed down at the last second gives him vision, forget that signs. But that was really quick fingers by mid one, anyway, to get him there. They really need, like, a dual scepter on Cind or something. He's... At the moment, Fada's getting away with a lot, a lot of split put pressure now. Weeha mid too is going to die as well. Whilst oh, in that bottom. kills left, right, and center. They'll turn oh, towards Fada though. In fact, they're going to get the return with Tomato, oh. and they'll save Wee. They keep him alive. Ace is now alone. Ace is in trouble, but I say that he's going to get the ultimate out. Turn towards Cancel. In fact, with the Eclipse, he's just about doing it. Cancel gets brought down. Mid one zips forward, picks up Weeha. Secret down three. The Fisher clips onto Kezu. They're dragging back with the Vortex. They have the silence. Do they have the damage? You'll remove the silence with the to absorb, gets the primal split out. Now mid one, low on mana, trying to get himself out as he's forced away. It looks like he'll be fine. Fully defensive primal split there, though. I don't think they're going to get anybody out of it. Tomato's looking on the side. Where's the chrono? How long are we seeing until Ten it's up? seconds. Ten seconds till chrono. If only it was there then. More than ready to fight with that manta and uh, chrono, and they're going to go for it. Everything's up, right? Bruce splits up. Everything's ready for mid or feed. 
They need to be able to dictate the pace a little bit better. Here we have it. Reading everything. Oh, there's a sentry down. Tomato will be silenced, but they do have the yule set up into the burst strike. Can they control this storm? They get him in, but it's the same time. Puppy gets the false Can't promise out. Buy his type of mid one if he can't already melted. Ace is just doing so much with the eclipses in these team fights. They zip forward. Mid one's still alive. Tomato's down. They've lost to a middle feed. Maybe even more. Ace still surviving throughout all the chaos. This Luna going absolutely rampant. That's a five wipe with all five ultis being expended. And I think that's GG. He's just chilling sure. down bottom, pushing your right. I mean, yeah. that. Puppy in the, the perfect puppy position. save. Yeah. I mean, we've seen it a couple of times. Yeah, Chrono's just getting another fight by the false promise. This is too much for middle feet. They tap out. GG is called. But uh, oh, some great stuff from Secret. And I get Ace. I said, every game, this man is so solid. He is. He's, He's so really solid good. on that carrot. He stayed consistently it's, super farmed. Yeah. He got ganked, and they turned around with a triple kill. It was it was a